<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the La Fun. I'm your host, Sebastian. We're out of Oklahoma City. We got my co-host tonight, Don McIntyre, with us, the Southern Flame. <laughs> and then we have the band Dreamers Crime. And in the Ooh. real name, there's no apostrophe in it, right? No. No. Right, no. No, no grass. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Ah, here it comes. The motherfucking loud spot. All right, let's get this show started. So Dreamers Crime, with no apostrophe is how you spell the name, the band out of Australia, the land of the future. Yes. yes. I always say that when there's an Australian band on. Like this, this is my third Australian band. You know, I got to ask you guys, before we, before we even get into music, is it like super warm over there right now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. been hot all week. Today's dropped about 10 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's been yeah. hot. Summer's close. It's like 70 degrees or something, maybe. So, like, pretty warm. Not hot, but warm, right? No, warm, warm, warm. Yeah. Do Man, you, is it... hot. what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so, how did the, so, how did the band even start uh, playing music? Like, give us a little background, a little history of Dreamers Crime. So from talking about the future, we're now going back to the past. <laughs> um, we are now. That's some Terminator stuff right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, it just started uh, in Sydney. Um, Simon and I were in high school bands together. Simon's like here today. Um, and then we kind of did our own little things for a while. 2014 came. We started, you know, Dream is Crime. We did an EP, What is Real?, um, played all around Australia. They even played in like ANZ Stadium where they held the Olympics nice. before a football game. And then um, we decided to make an album that got just got released. Nice. <laughs> yeah. When was that? When was the album released? I think it was a month ago. Yeah. Oh, very. Yeah. Very recent. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. And then Peter, you're the one of the original members of Dreamers Crime, right? Yeah. Okay. And then Adam, who plays bass, who's down there in the, the other corner that way. Yeah. And so yeah. you played the bass, but you started playing. Now, you didn't join the band from the beginning. You started no. a little afterwards, right? Yeah. So I joined in uh, 2017. Um, yeah. Okay. How did you, you guys meet? How, how, how did you guys want getting picking up him as a bass player? So, at school? Yeah, at school. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay okay well the audience isn't previous like they don't know that conversation before this started yeah yeah so <laughs> the backstory with that is that uh you know pete and i are both high school teachers um over here in sydney and yeah we met a poor students school. poor students gotta have rock stars <laughs> oh, they, they love us man they love us <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so we, we met there and, like, you know, we are both in bands at the time, also with my old bands. Um, and, yeah, we just occasionally, like, come across each other and talk music and that sort of thing, you know, check in. And then, um, you know, one day we are sort of working in the same part of the school together and, you know, just once again, music came up. I said, how are you guys doing? So like, yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, you know, we're recording at the moment, we're writing, but, uh, you know, our bass player and our drummer are moving on. <laughs> and he said, how are you guys doing? And I was like, well, we're basically, my band's not really doing anything anymore, man. I'm itching to start playing again. And so I said, man, if you guys are doing auditions, let me know. He's like, well, how about next week? I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. I'll get my bass and I'll come down. <laughs> That's perfect. So, so yeah, he um, sent me a couple of songs. I learned them. And then we uh, we had a jam and, yeah, I, I, you know, I didn't know what to think. I was just sort of thinking, oh, that wasn't. I don't think I did that well. That's pretty shit. Probably won't hear from these guys again. <laughs> was saying, yeah, man, cool for next week. And like, just man, I mean, he's like, yeah, man. So, they, and that's they, it, man. they were desperate for a bass player. Yeah. So they were, <laughs> I tell you what, the way it went down was he played it. He wasn't as bad as what he said. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> it was, um, I got out of this studio and I go he's to the modest. Club. Okay. He's a bass player and he sings. He's in the band. <laughs> oh, Adam, you're just being modest. Uh, no. <laughs> so what's it what's it like walking around a high school campus knowing that you guys are like in this in this awesome band? Like there has there can't be like that many teachers, I don't think, in the world that are also like 
rock musicians, right? Like, not, there's not very many of them. So, do you guys ever, like, start talking music and, like, a couple students kind of fuck up? And you just, like, turn your head because you're, like, deep in conversation about your, your next uh, your next single? You're plotting. <laughs> yeah, don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Uh, we, 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 we keep it pretty professional during work hours. Like, we try to, yeah, I'm sure. you know, make sure we do our job. Um, but, no, funny story. The other – yesterday, actually, I went and saw um, – Pete, while we had some um, like some free periods just to discuss some things about some classes. I, I think he's frozen. He did freeze. Oh, he's, he's frozen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There no, there no, no, no. Hi. Hi. It's like I'll move straight out of the way. Give me one minute. Okay. You're good. Continue, Adam. Go ahead. Yeah, continue. Um, <laughs> so we, you know, um, Pete printed out a couple of photos, you know, just for, from our previous tours. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I just had them in like a little envelope. And so I went and checked out one of my classes that um, another teacher was teaching at the time. And then I, a couple of students saw the photos mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, sir, what are those photos? It's like, oh, they're just some photos from uh, the tour with Mr. Rapusis. And they're like, can we have a look? I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the students got to be a little bit curious, right? Like they got to be curious. I kind of think your guys are kind of cool, especially if you're high school teachers. Like students are into music at that age, so do any of the students go on and try to listen to you guys' music uh, just to hear it? Yeah, like we have some kids, you know, that occasionally comment on, you know, videos and posts and all that on the social media. And you know, you come across a couple. You're just walking down the hall, and then some kid goes, "Oh, sir, I like your music." And you're like, "Thanks, man." Yeah, so that's cool. Like that sort of juicy that is up. Cool. Nice. Yeah, it's nice to have that. <laughs> And you, so, and now, uh, Adam, were you able to, you, we talked earlier before the show started about you guys played in what Viet, was it Vietnam? Vietnam and uh, the Philippines a few times, quite a few times. That's how incredible. You, how do you land those shows? Like, how far, first of all, how far is the Philippines from Australia? Uh, for it's us, fun, it's about eight hours. Hours. Yeah, eight, nine hours. Uh, That's not, no, not eight, nine hours. I was listening to that. No, from Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, mate, it's, again. he's frozen again yeah he's thinking he's, he's trying to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah look fr from memory it's an eight-hour flight from sydney to manila okay um, okay so yeah it's a bit it's a bit of a trip you know it's not as far as flying to la or something from here but um yeah uh, that's awesome so as a collective what is your um what is some of your favorite songs to play as a collective that you really enjoy? Uh, we'll get him back in here. He's going to join we'll back. back. His, his phone. His signal. Back. Yeah. Uh, I personally enjoy playing um, Interstellar Nights. Uh, Secrets is really fun as well. Like nice. that's, that's just a really good song to play live. Um, yeah, Silence. Silence is a good one. And, I, I do, I, I do got to say that yeah. Adam Spear was doing the show by himself. Yeah. And now, now he's here and he's by okay. himself. Hey, relax. We're not going to eat too much. I'm freezing up thinking of songs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. No, it's fine. You're good. How do you guys even get, how do you guys even start booking shows in like the Philippines or the Vietnam? Like how did that even start to come into, to even discussion? We are, so we've got a friend called, um, uh, Beyond Santos. Um, okay. for short. So he's uh he used to play with a band called um Slapshock, mm -hmm. who are a massive metal band in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, so he has he, you know, he has a couple of connections and then he moved to Australia, started playing with some local bands in Sydney, and you know, we just all sort of became friends. And then uh one day, you know, as he's we're back. hanging up, he's back. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. troubleshooting on the fly. I think this is better. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, turn your phone sideways. There hey. you go. Oh, hey. So we were just yes. talk, we were just talking about um your guys' shows and how you guys how it even started, how you guys how it came into fruition. Were you guys playing Vietnam and, and the Philippines? And he pretty much said, you know, Pete's not even that great of a singer. We don't know how we got the show. <laughs> but yeah. but we'll take we'll take it. We'll take the show. What happened was uh, after the shows were done, I had to talk and apologize to a lot of people, buy a lot of drinks. And then when, when they saw that I was offering money, they put another tour back 
Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> yeah, it worked. If you could pick a country to, to play in again, whether it be like Vietnam or the Philippines, out of these two countries, Philippines. which one? Philippines. Philippines. Easy. Yeah. No right Easy. Bad. No think about that. Dude, the people there are like awesome, awesome people, hospitable, and they love music. They love live music. Like it's next level. They go to a gig and their their souls are completely invested into it. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Was there a lot of people that spoke English while you were down there to when you oh, were yeah, around? Yeah. yeah. Like we um yeah, we had uh we had no problem coercing with people, like talking to people. How yeah. about Vietnam? Was that a little bit more difficult? No, Vietnam was um, the same, and you know this um, the sort of the heavy music scene and where we played like Da Nang and in um, Hanoi was pretty good too. But yeah, Dude, how was the food? In, how was the food in Vietnam? Was everything fermented? No, <laughs> no, no fresh man, it was fresh, it's fresh. Cool. Yeah, well, you know, because you know, like you go to eat, like a Vietnamese restaurant, they got that fish sauce. Like the oh, yeah, yeah. Not, and stuff. Not, not like was the food old. I'm saying like, <laughs> was it like you know fermented like seasonings and stuff? It's like fermented that. like this bourbon. No, it was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So Look, actually, got a lot actually of... as far as the language barrier, they probably have a worse time understanding me than <laughs> Vietnam and the Philippines. We, we um, were lucky. We had we had like TMs. And and bands that helped us out a lot with with the culture. Um, now the culture is amazing, but we were very very new to it. Um, and like you know, they took us to you know the, these little shops and these little restaurants, um, or even places that just uh, made food. And then like we would have never have walked in there or known you know what to buy, what to order. And then we get the food. It's like all right, oh, we're gonna do this together. It's like yeah, so. <laughs> You know, and but it was it was beautiful. Um, the, the cuisine there is amazing. Did you get to experience the floating markets? No, we had oh. no time. You got to do that. For, I think we're only in Vietnam for like four or five days. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. three of the days was traveling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. did you guys just do one show per country? Two. 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 We did two. Two. In, in both countries. Um, in Vietnam, we did two, and our second show in Vietnam was actually a New Year's Eve show. In a little pub. That is so cool. Yeah. Man. <laughs> what was weird, speaking of Land of the Future, as we're sitting in this pub at 10 o'clock at night in yeah. the Philippines, oh, sorry, in Vietnam, we're watching the Sydney fireworks go off on the Harbour Bridge. Uh -huh. Like, and it, like, and just thinking, well, do we celebrate yet or do we wait to local time or what do we do? <laughs> yeah, it's really surreal. That is but the so first cool. time we did the Philippines, we did like, I think it was like 10 shows in like, yeah. Two and a yeah. half weeks. It was wow. That, that was that was a hectic schedule. Crazy guys. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it's so. I think it'd be so cool. That's one good thing about when you're in a band. You're in a good band, like you guys are. You know, you get to you get to travel around a little bit, and that is just that just just to be able to do that and play music while you're there it has to be like a, it's like a, it's like a you're on vacation plus share your music. Like that has to be such a good feeling. Oh yeah. yeah. Best. I mean, come on. If you're doing what you love, is it really work? <laughs> No. Some, sometimes, no. Sometimes. 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 Yes. Sometimes. You sometimes. know, <laughs> being being with you like your best mates on tour, it's like especially the first one that we did. It was like you know you're you're going around with a bit of a chip on your shoulder. You're untouchable. Yeah, you know you're you're you're, you're, you're making you're making sure that you are having all the fun in the world. And um, <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, um, being being in a foreign country and people people thinking that you are bigger than what you are as well. It helped. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is your ego. Yeah. No, like we you know, you got, they probably thought it, you were Americans. Yeah. <laughs> I do get Kurt Cobain quite a bit, so maybe, but he's not around. I can see that. I can see that. Um, but like in, in Sydney, Australia, where um, you know, our our fan base is not as hardcore as it is overseas. So when we got to like, you know, an island, Palawan, which is in um, the Philippines, you know, we arrived there. We're welcomed at the airport. We get to wherever we had to go, and then we see billboards. We're on billboards um, in Australia. We're not on a billboard, let alone a poster on the street. You know what I mean? He has broken out the hat, guys. Speaking of, speaking of, you know what? Mate, happy. <laughs> he has basically give us happy shit. Watch. I want to be American today. I want to talk about music. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Right, then so how, again, how my pick with onions. How did you guys get <laughs> That's what I want to know. 
Okay. What do you say? Dean, how do we Dean O'Shaughnessy, how would you guys get hooked up with him? Is he like, does he manage you guys or what's I, that um, thing? I, on, on Instagram, um, uh, Explore, because I follow a lot of gym pages, he popped up with one of his uh, flex poses and that's how it kind of happened. No, I did. That's not how it went down. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's gonna, he's he's gonna get me for that one. Out, right? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, man. He's a, he's a good looking dude for his age. I'm telling you what, yeah. he's, he's, he's killing it right now. I don't know if you guys say it, but he's jacked. I know. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> um, I think um, uh, Felipe, our drummer, and Dean connected through Instagram. Through uh, Dean found. I think that we were starting to tease that we were going to release the song Silence. And he was like, man, I really dig this track. And um, that's how we kind of connected. It's like, you know, what do you guys want to do as a band? And we told him what our aspirations and dreams were. And we kind of came to an agreement. And voila, here we are. That's beautiful. Right, Adam? Awesome. Is that how it went down? Pretty much. And now we're on the loud spot. Now you're on the left right now. Hey. You're now you've made it. You can retire. You're going to be very wealthy after this. I, <laughs> I feel I'm like just, I need to I'm wear not, a hat. I'm lying. You're not. No, it's gonna be find, find a hat. Find, yes, right. find a hat. Let's, let's talk about your uh, your new song, Here We Are. The We got the music video. I got the music video pulled up for it. And this song, this song dropped with your EP about a month ago, correct? The album, yeah. yeah it the, 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 okay, the album. How many songs are on there? Twelve. Oh, yeah, that's a full album. That's not an EP. Yeah. That's an album. Yeah. 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 Is this the only music video you guys have for it? Because I saw something on your Facebook page that are, is it on, that you have a YouTube thing where you can listen to like the whole album on YouTube, right? Yeah. yeah. But so, is yeah. this the only one that has a music video? No. no. We've, uh, we've got music every video. song has a music video. No. <laughs> <laughs> we've, got a, uh, we've got a music video for Silence, Dreaming, and uh, as well as... I believe in you. I believe in you, and here we are. There's four. Yeah, four. four of them. I did have the opportunity to check out Dreaming, and it was really good too. Yeah, the video for that. Yeah, one. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. I picked the right song to play. No, yeah, you that's. We checked, we checked before we started. That's. I don't know, man. If, it, if there's a dreamer's crime with an apostrophe, then we're in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't think there's any other Dreamers Crime uh, bands out there, which is a super, really, really cool name also. Okay, mm -hmm. let's check out the song, Here We Are, by Dreamers Crime, with no apostrophe. Here we are, here we go. Let's go. <laughs>
is nice. a great, great song. I, I love it because it's not like super long. Either. It's like, I think it's less than three minutes long. Um, it's yeah. Great yeah. riffs, great, great vocals too, man. Like, so what's, that up? Club. what's up? Yeah, right. So what's up with the guy with like the white mask on? Is he like, is he like controlling he's like what's going master. on? Yeah, yeah he's, he's, like, like, he's like the master, right? Yeah, he's, he's the, the puppeteer. Yeah. That is a cool yeah. dude. How long did that video take to shoot? One day. Like yeah. the all day. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, so that that director, his name's Dave Hunter. Um, and he's done our last three music videos, and he just he's like, you know, I, I've co-written a lot of the stories with him, and he's really just tapped into the vision and the look of how the band should be. And um, you know, when when he came to creating the puppeteer, it was like, you know, we should make him look really like blank. Um can't really imagine how he is as a person because I don't want him to look like a person. And, um, yeah, it's the idea of, like, you know, the whole um, control and the idea of that an innocent child can make us all remember what is right. Okay. If, if, someone, if someone's watching this and wanted to know, they just saw that one music video, but you guys have a few other, other music videos, which one, and you guys might have different answers, which one was your favorite music video to shoot? that the fans be, besides this one which one of your other ones would be like one of your favorite video shoots silence I think only uh, because silence because we filmed in the prison an actual prison oh what yeah it's a it's a closed jail in geelong um and we had it rented out for the whole day and it was so eerie being in there like it was so cold and you know, knowing where, like, you know, the the real big offenders were, and being in their cells and checking that stuff out. Yeah, I was gonna ask about your paranormal experience. Masks around. Um, it it was it was really cool. That's yeah, great. There was, there was one. There was one cell, like, because we went exploring before we started shooting, and there was one cell where they had a, uh, like, a figure set up, like a mannequin set up in one of the cells. So you peek through, and you just see someone sitting there. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah. Yeah, it was just like, <laughs> yeah. It was like, so oh when, shit! <laughs> when you say when you say closed, it was empty, right? Like there was, there's no longer a prison there. It's an old prison. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, like a museum. Yeah, okay. it's a museum, like place you you know people go in, they check it out, they go on tours. Um, they probably also did ghost tours or something like that. Oh uh, yeah, because Don asked about paranormal experiences, right? So was mm -hmm. there a lot? Like, did you feel anything weird while you were down there? Like. Besides seeing that weird, you know, creepy mannequin or whatever, did well, you have anything feel, like weird happen? Like did someone like touch you from behind and you felt like a cold draft, and then like you fainted and then spirits flew everywhere and Oh, did you get a Adam, bug? Did that happen? <laughs> Adam, Adam, Adam does that anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it only, it only happened when I went to the toilet and Pete snuck in behind me. <laughs> oh, um, you guys are so affectionate. <laughs> Um, no, so the, like we didn't, I don't, I don't think you did either ads because we never really spoke about it. Um, not, not really any paranormal experiences, but we were saying that uh, there was a particular shoot where like I was tied up to a chair and I'm screaming to get the emotion out, like screaming really loud. And if people were walking past the jail, they would have heard screams just <laughs> enough to be like, holy shit, is that, is that like, you know, a ghost? <laughs> yeah. Now, dude, what if there's like a YouTube video out there where someone is actually walking by filming why you do that exact scream and you just don't know about it? Like, it could be a thing. <laughs> I know. Be I have a question about the unveiling of the puppeteer. So you guys need to encourage while you're on here for people to go watch that video on your Facebook page because that was pretty epic. I enjoyed that a lot. Ah, awesome. So. Um, oh, did you have a question or did you just want me to talk about it? No, that? I want you to tell us about it. Yeah. What um, brought that on? The actual unveiling? Well, the, yeah. the puppeteer himself, he's a, he's a good friend of mine from high school. Mm. And, you know, when we were filming the day, it just um, – we're, we're big wrestling fans, right? Um, right? So I don't know if you guys ever watched. Um, but in the late 90s, there was like, you know, Vince McMahon had this storyline. Yeah, like WWE – well, it was WWF, now WWE, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yep. Yeah. WWF times, it was like this higher power 
character and the way he was unveiled, he was all cloaked up and he took it off and he's like, it was me, Austin, it was me all along. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I don't want anything for this video. I just need you to record me to do that. <laughs> that was great. So y'all go to their Facebook page and check that out. <laughs> Yeah, if you're a wrestling fan, you're in for a treat. I, you know, I'm a wrestling fan, but I'm trying to figure out who that is. In fact, I just talked about about the wrestling on one of my podcasts not that long ago. We went on like this whole like five minute tangent about wrestling because I used to be a huge wrestling fan. Not so much anymore, but I was hmm. uh, when I was younger. And as I've gotten older, just the storylines kind of became a little soap opera e for me, and a little bit, you know, just not as not that it was ever realistic, anyways, but. It just got a little, a little bit much. Um, okay, so what's the plan? What's the guy? What's your plans for the future? You guys have this new album that just dropped a month ago, and you guys are working with Dean. Are you guys gonna go setting up another like tour in Australia? It must be harder just to hop on a plane and just like travel around unless you're just staying in Australia. But do you guys have like world touring plans or regional plans or what's up? Um. So. That's a that's a tricky one. So in regards to um, being allowed to travel at all, it's like you know, there's oh, a lot of um, there's a lot of dates that have popped up to uh, open up what's going to happen. Um, but is it going to happen? We don't know yet. Um, you know, we we're just starting to travel between states, let alone going to countries. Right, right, right. Um, but our goal is to try and organize to come to the US next year. We're trying to make that happen. Um. Yeah. So that's that's the goal to tour the album, um, and in the meantime, you know, we're, we're we've been working our asses off, still writing, um, having new remixes of the tracks mm-hmm. that are going to be coming out, um, you know, into like an EDM style. There's going to be two new songs next year at some point. So we've been working since we haven't been touring. Yeah, that is fantastic. Well, we really want you. I oh, know, I'm not up there with Sebastian. I'm down south. So you guys yep. gotta come to if you come to the United States, you have to come down south. You can take I a, really want to be south. Boat, you can take a boat <laughs> and go see Don. You gotta fly to see me. You can take a boat to go see her. <laughs> she, she, she's on one of the coastal states. <laughs> I don't like yes. the middle of the. Are we got the hovercrafts or what going through the the swamps. So <laughs> yeah, is that what it's called? A hovercraft, the, that boat with the big fan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just so, hop right? on a cruise. Just hop on a cruise, and you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just come I on. Dude, there's so many good bands in Australia. Like, I don't think I've ever met a band that was not good from Australia. Like, is that like a so thing far like any band? You got to be in a good band. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, you got to keep up with. I mean, yeah. it's Australia. You gotta, you gotta be up there to, to hang with the big dogs. That's it. Yeah, it's either you are you're you're a band from down under or you're a band that's down under. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 Thank you guys. I'm here all week. I like that joke. I like that joke. All right. You guys have a website, you guys got merch. Um obviously you guys yeah, have music videos merch. on YouTube. What's up with your merchandise? So we got uh we got shirts, we got hats, we got um CDs, you know, if you're going old school, if you don't want to, you know stream everything if you want to just play it on the old player in your car we got that so send us um, some links yeah we will we will tell us about the yeah. links Why yeah because there's on? an exclusive american um shop that we've got online just for um you know people in america so i'll have to send that link to you guys yeah um and yeah you, know, that's... you don't know what it is off the top of your head i guess it's probably like a whole lot of different uh one out for you so if we were live right now, we could actually put it in the comments and share it. But uh-huh. since we're recording this, we can't do that. Yeah, so what you, that's all right. We suggest. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure your web. I'm sure you guys have a website, right? Yeah, uh, we got yeah, Facebook, we Instagram, Twitter. Uh, yeah, link tree. Our link tree has everything. Um, link we can send you the link tree. Yeah, yeah, it's got everything that you need. Perfect. Even, 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 even where Adam lives, it's on there. <laughs> All right, so, wants to come around. Just, let's just throw Adam right up under the bus. Cheers. I know. It's Friday night, right? It is Friday night. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's Friday night. For, it's not Friday night for you guys. It is Saturday no, afternoon. Yeah, okay, yeah. Saturday night. It's Friday night. It's the weekends. That's all that matters. It's the weekend. It's the all weekend. All, all right, if you guys like, if anyone out there is watching this, likes Dreamers Crime, and make sure when you spell Dreamers Crime for YouTube or Apple or Spotify, 
There's no apostrophe in it. I can't say it enough times. I'm sure if you look <laughs> up with the apostrophe, I'm sure you'd probably still find it. Um, yeah. <laughs> or you might find some criminal. I have no idea. But you like it, go, go check out. I, go check out. Uh, oh, we got up? a story about that. I got a story oh, go about ahead, that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. So we we're in um, Palawan, and um, where where the the mayor of the island has invited us to, uh, what, what do you call it? The, the quarters where the government is. Yeah, what do you call it, Adam? The government house. Yeah. Oh, the the castle. Government house. Yeah. Right. Um, anyway, he wanted to see us, and we're like, you know, we started to think, do we do something wrong yesterday? Is that why we're going there? Possibly. Anyway, we go there and we get like these these welcome like necklaces, native necklaces, like you know, made of uh, shells and whatnot. And then, um, you know, we're in there with a meeting with him and he's talking about how he came to Sydney in the 70s and what he did there. And then, um, you know, we take a photo with him. So the whole band's lined up and he's in the middle and he's like, and he says, and we were all got so nervous at this point because it's like, there's cameras, there's people watching, anything can happen. <laughs> he starts going, everybody, this is Dreamers Crime, hard rock band from Australia. And as a joke, he starts saying, they represent murder trafficking any any offense that you could think of he (laughs) said in that thing and we were just like yes (laughs) we sit there like just smiling nervously yeah booty hole was drawn up in a knot (laughs) dude you never want to be in like another country and break like you know break a law because you don't know what's gonna happen to you. Like you did, everything no. has different has different laws, right? Oh, That's we true. know what happens. Don't we worry. Know, we know what happens. <laughs> we have a lot of stories that we just can't fit in so quickly. <laughs> um, I also just sent to you guys the link to the US merch. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. In the Gmail. <laughs> uh, That's well, you, great. Anyone here watching this, you want to check out Dreamers Crime? Uh, check out their link tree if you want to check out their, I guess they have everything on their link tree from their music to their YouTube, to their websites, merch, US links. I'm sure you guys have everything on link tree, right? That's what it's yep. for. It's for links. Cool. So yeah. And YouTube. I cannot stress it enough. Go to YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, yeah. get the views that's in. Cool. Yeah, Thanks, right. guys. Yes, keep spreading the love. That's what we need. We uh, wanted to get, we like, we really want to come to America and we need the more we, more love we get. On you know this social media universe, the quicker we can get down there. Exactly, and that'd be awesome if you guys do come. If you guys come to Oklahoma, which if you come to the states, I doubt you guys would play Oklahoma. But if you did, that's where I live. Come say what's up. All right, hey guys, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. I want to thank everyone uh, that listened to the loud spot. Thank you, Don, for coming and joining me tonight on this interview. Thank you, Jimmy Scott, for doing it. Go check out www.theloudspot.net. Check us out on YouTube. Please subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notified whenever I be upload a new video. Follow us on Facebook. Check us out on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. We are everywhere. That is all I have to say for right now. Peace out. Rock on. Thank you, Loud Spot. Yeah. Thanks for having DC on here. <laughs> You're welcome. Stay right there. Don't Thank go you. anywhere just yet. Don't go anywhere just yet. Here we go. Oh, this oh, is the Loud you. Spot outro by Nothing Short of Tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have his back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pin post has a pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to click the like and share button. Don't forget to go to our YouTube and subscribe. If you want to listen to our audio and pick up some cool merch, go to www.theloudspot.net. Peace out, rock on, much love.